all my lovely Ally Pallies. Now today I wanted to talk to you about shades of Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Now some of you will know that I was the very first person to get a video out on YouTube on this foundation because I actually attended the event at Charlotte Tilbury and I'm, it was so exciting. I still look back on it with very fond memories. I met such amazing people there as well. So I was so honoured to have been invited and to get a, a free bottle of this foundation. But you will also remember that when I did my very first impression, I applied it to my face and I always felt like I had been matched to the wrong shade. So when I was at the event, I was matched to seven and a half warm. And when I went to put it on my face, it looked far too yellow and it really did. Let's take a look back at that first impression, shall we? I'll also put a link to that video below so that you can see it again if you want to. There's the foundation on my hand and I'm going to blend it in with my Magic Foundation Brush. You don't need a primer. I've put Magic Cream on this morning. You don't need a primer with this foundation. Mm, looks very yellow. Looks very yellow and very full coverage. Mm. Um, now, there is a little bit of a problem with this, and I think it's always been a bit of an issue in terms of matching shades, is that it dries down to a completely different shade. <laughs> Um, and Charlotte has made allowances for that since because when when you look at the swatches on her website you will see the swatches like dried down one side and then still wet the other side so um, it didn't look the right shade for me anyway so a few weeks later I was also sent some freebies by Charlotte Tilbury and I was asked if there was anything specific I'd like and I said, yes, could you please send me the shade seven and a half neutral so that I basically because it looked lighter and I thought my skin is more neutral than it is warm. It's one of those skin tones that is a little bit warm, is a little bit neutral. It's somewhere between neutral and warm, but it's not completely warm because I'm half Indian. So I got that and it was too light for me. So ever since... I have been mixing seven and a half warm and seven and a half neutral. However, a little bit of a long introduction, but it's worth it. I also met a lovely chap at Charlotte Tilbury, not at the event, but at a previous VIP event. And his name is Howard. Hello, Howard. I'm going to let you know I'm putting this video out. Howard is an incredibly talented makeup artist. Um, and I think I've seen him twice now at Charlotte Tilbury. Now, he happened to have been invited to one of the photo shoots for the new Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And he was matched to Seven Neutral. And when we got chatting online about this, he said, I don't know why you were matched to Seven and a Half, because I think you're about the same shade as me. And I was matched to Seven Neutral for the photo shoot. And ever since I've been looking at Seven Neutral and thinking, I can't be seven neutral though if seven and a half neutral is too light for me but looking at all the swatches online it looked as though seven neutral was darker than seven and a half neutral which makes no sense to me anyway I bought seven neutral and I'm very excited because it looks like a perfect match for me let me just show you the two bottles this is seven and a half neutral and this is seven neutral and when you actually see now in the bottle it probably does look lighter seven neutral to seven and a half but it doesn't when you swatch it I'm going to put the swatches here now I've done one with a flash and one without and then I've done them when they've dried down as well and you'll have to excuse me if I'm shouting by the way because for the last two days, I've had really loud tinnitus in this ear. So if any of you have got any um, any solutions, any remedies for really loud tinnitus, please let me know. 
but I think it's making me shout. So I'm sorry if I'm talking too loudly. Okay, um, I'll leave these swatches for you here. First of all, without, then with a flash, and then dry down without, and then with a flash. Okay, so let's do some cheek swatches because you can see now already that seven neutral is darker than seven and a half neutral and it looks slightly warmer than seven neutral, um, but not as warm as seven and a half warm, which is what I really want. So I have a feeling that this could very well be the perfect match for me. Now let's start with what I was matched to at the event, which is seven and a half warm and i'm going to put a little swatch of that down my cheek at the dual line here let's do that again right so that is seven and a half warm then we have seven and a half neutral Far too light, as you can see. So you can see why they sort of matching me towards seven and seven and a half warm and not seven and a half neutral. But now let's go in and swipe seven neutral. See how it's darker. And I think that that is going to dry down to actually combine with my complexion a lot better. So I'm just going to leave that there for a couple of minutes to dry down and I'll be right back. And while I'm letting that dry down, I just wanted to say that when I held those bottles up, it was in the wrong order. So this is seven and a half neutral in the bottle and this is seven neutral in the bottle so it does actually look darker even in the bottle doesn't make any sense to me why would it be darker anyway i'll be back in a second okay so it's had about a minute to dry down a little bit now as you can see i can see why they match me to this it's not bad at all but if i come in close it is looking too yellow for my complexion which is slightly warm but not that warm this is way too fair which is seven and a half neutral and this one here looks like it's going to be a really good match so i can't wait to try this so i'm going to put it on now on fast forward and let me tell me what you think
Now that to me is a far better match. I just finished off using my Simple Human mirror to make sure it was nice and well blended. Still looks a bit yellow, which is interesting because it's a neutral shade, but it looks a lot less yellow than seven and a half warm. So I think that that is actually a better match for me. And it's closer to NC35 in MAC than eight and a half warm. This won't go to waste. I've got a little bit left because as the summer months come on, then I do turn into a real seven and a half warm. Um, I get warmer as the summer comes into play, but I'm really, really happy with that. Um, and I think that that is going to be well used because I was just running out of my other two shades that I mixed together. Um, and I think that that works really well. So let me know what you think, but I'm just going to finish off now and put some concealer on and some powder. And I'm going to put out another video this evening so that you'll be bombarded with videos from me. Aren't you lucky people? Okay, take care. See you soon. Bye.